My first assignment uh, in Asia was to cover the India-Pakistan War of 1965, because they've had three wars, you always have to say which year. And I covered the conflict in the summer months of 1965. This was uh, the, the Pakistanis invaded India. They sought to have a Patton-esque uh, swift strike trying to capture New Delhi, the capital, uh, which eventually failed. But this was, one, my introduction to Asia, and two, it was the first time I had seen combat on a large, not quite World War II s scale, but it was that kind of battle, uh, tank battles in the desert with uh, air cover, air battles overhead, uh, Gurkha shock troops on the ground, so it was a first for me in those two uh, areas. I was sent first by CBS News to Pakistan to cover the Pakistan side of the war, but I no sooner got there than they felt that they were had too many correspondents in Pakistan and not enough correspondents in India. So I did a U-turn, in effect, and went back through Iran and covered the India side of the war, and most of my time was covering the India side of the war. Uh, but that was followed immediately, almost immediately, by going to Vietnam in the late fall of 1965. And I spent almost a year in Vietnam in 65 and 66. So Pakistan, India, the very first, followed quickly by Vietnam. This was my introduction uh, to Asia. Well, it did. It was a tremendous learning period for me when I covered the India-Pakistan War. And frankly, uh, I can be candid about it because it's true that I was ill-prepared uh, to cover in that part of the world and to cover combat uh, on that scale. So it was a deep immersion for me, and I certainly made my mistakes, but I learned a tremendous amount. And I will say that the Going to India changed me as a professional and uh, as a person, as a man. Uh, you know, a, a deep, complicated, ancient country about which, frankly, I knew very little. Uh, so I considered it like a crash graduate school course. I have so many memories, obviously, of, of Vietnam which was, during my time there, and for most of the war period, was a green jungle hell uh, that I had never seen uh, uh, this kind of death and destruction, this kind of constant savagery on both sides and all sides. And coupled with what I said before, the immediate predecessor in my coverage there being the India-Pakistan War, but a different kind of war you know, big open field maneuvering where Vietnam was a guerrilla warfare. Uh, and I have a lot of bad memories of, of Vietnam. It's difficult and not impossible to be there and not have nightmarish uh, memories of the place. Uh, but I always want to emphasize I felt uh, honored, and I use the word measuredly, uh, to cover uh, American men and women uh, in combat uh, in Vietnam, because whatever one may think of the war, it may have been may have been the wrong war in the wrong place at the wrong time for the wrong reasons. But the Americans who went there went there for the right reason. They went there because they loved their country, and their country had asked them to go.